Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. When Darcy Lynn stepped out onto the America's Got Talent stage for the first time, it was pure magic. Her stunning performance, alongside her beloved pink puppet, Petumia, earned her Mel B's golden buzzer and launched a hugely successful career. Darcy Lynn was not only crowned as the season 12 winner, but she went on to headline the AGT show in Las Vegas, earned a spot as a frequent guest at the Grand Ole Opry, and even headlined her own 2018 NBC holiday special, Darcy Lynn, My Hometown Christmas. The Oklahoma City native made a triumphant return to the AGT stage earlier this year in America's Got Talent, Fantasy League with an act that paid homage to her past while also honoring the artist she has become. To see how it all began, let's take a stroll down memory lane to revisit her first America's Got Talent audition. Darcy Lynn was just 12 years old when she walked out onto the stage with Petunia for her first audition on AGT, giggling to fight off her nerves. Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Judge Simon Cowell asked a bubbly Oklahoma native and her hand puppet, a pink bunny dressed in a pink glittery gown. It was one of my big dreams, but also I would really like to keep ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know, she replied. It was clear from the first few seconds of the act that Petunia would be taking center stage in the performance. What? You're going to sing? Oh boy, Lynn remarked to the puppet as the first notes of the Gershwin classic Summertime began to play. The judges in the audience were stunned the moment the youngster began to sing as Petunia, belting out powerhouse vocals well beyond her years while never moving her mouth. Cowell would later reflect on the feat while recounting his favorite moments from his time on the show. Honestly, I did think, on the day, that wasn't her singing, Cowell admitted to host Harry Cruz, because I said, it's impossible to sing without opening your mouth. After hitting the final high note, the judges and crowd got to their feet, giving the preteen an enthusiastic standing ovation. The warm reception brought Lynn to tears but she had an even bigger surprise in store for her when Mel B reflected on the act. You know what's very sweet. Your puppet, I'm guessing, is exactly like you, very charming and adorable. You make my heart melt. You were brilliant. I'm trying to describe how amazing it was. You know what? She said before reaching over and slamming her golden buzzer. An emotional Lynn was immediately sent to the lives, where she continued to be a fan favorite. She was crowned the winner and took home the season's top honor, along with a $1 million prize, after an impressive final act that combined comedy and had her singing with two puppets, each with their very own distinctive voice. Today, the 19-year-old still hasn't lost her love of entertaining. She returned to AGT, Fantasy League in 2024 to prove once again that she's still a world-class entertainer. Although she returned with Petunia, she admittedly took a risk when she stepped away from the puppet to sing part of a high-energy rendition of I've Got the Music in Me without her famed sidekick. I feel like I have to, like, live up to what I did when I was 12, but I just don't want to be put into a box and so for my performance tonight, I'm doing something different. I think people are going to be surprised, she explained on the show. The move got mixed reviews from the judges, while Heidi Klum proclaimed it an absolutely fantastic performance. Cowell and Melby confessed they missed her more traditional blend of ventriloquism and comedy. Lynn followed her heart and stepped out without her puppet altogether in her live show performance, but it wasn't enough to earn her a spot in the finals when she isn't returning to the stage that made her famous, Darcy Lynn is impressing her fans with a series of phenomenal covers she often drops on Instagram that showcase her full vocal range. She's shared her very own versions of everything from ABBA's The Winner Takes It All to Chris Stapleton's Broken Halos. She's also tackled classic songs from Stevie Wonder, The Beatles, Elvis Presley, and Billie Holiday.